All of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving toward one another, kindly disposed and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This teaching from St. Peter is the way that we enable our relationship to Christ to affect our relationships with others. If our relationship to God does not have any effect on our relationships with others, then we're like hypocrites. We're not allowing the sovereignty of God to affect all areas of our life. This teaching, we first learn to live within the family. And you know, if we lived by this teaching, there'd be no division within families. Think about in the family, to be like-minded. That's what St. Peter calls us to do. That is, we, we are united in seeking the good of the family. We're sympathetic, where we think about how others are feeling. We try to anticipate their needs and help them. Loving toward one another, where we seek the best possible good for the other. Kindly dispose, where we are always approachable. We're not covered up in an exterior of anger and rage, but we are surrounded by a sense of peace. And humble, where we're not seeking to control others and impose our will upon them. If we could live this in families, there'd be no division in families. But you know you can apply this teaching to larger scale situations, such as a community, a nation, or even the whole world. If we all followed this, then there'd be peace in our families, among all our relationships in the world as well. Now you might be in a situation right now where you're surrounded by people who do not live this teaching of St. Peter. Instead, they return evil for evil and insult for insult. They are divisive, they promote their own will, they hate people, and they're arrogant and insecure. And you're the only one who is even reading this message of St. Peter. You feel, what's the point of me trying to live this? No one else is going to live this. You live it. You live this teaching. Because if you don't, then no one in your situation will be living it. Remember, the whole world might not live this teaching. But if you do, and if you're bullied around and beaten down still, even though you're still living this teaching, rejoice and be glad, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. God bless you.